Hello, this is Anthony Brown at Ragstall Creek Workshop. I thought I'd make a video of this. This is a the uh, lights I won off of Harold Waters' channel. Got them in today. And uh, thought I'd show everybody. Line. I guess this is a wiring harness that uh, goes with them. Uh, oh yeah, these are nice looking lights. Nice looking lights. Got two little nuts. Slide. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, sliding back and forth there. That's the noise it's making. That's where the noise is coming from. Yeah, I guess that's the mounting nuts. Uh, these things are about to. Six inches. By three. Oh, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eleven or twelve uh, LED modules on each side. And here's the little brackets. Oh, nice aluminum brackets. If you mount them and uh, where you can slide them, turn them. I might redneck my lawnmower out to uh, uh, sort of simulate Harold's redneck workshop channel. I might put these on my lawnmower. It's been several days that I'd worked over and uh, uh, had to uh, mow the yard that evening and didn't get it done. Had to wait till the next day because it's a zero turn and ain't got no lights on it. So, But... Uh, these are nice lights. Uh, I wasn't expecting them to be this uh, this uh, sturdy. It's got the, the aluminum brackets and uh, they're solid aluminum. Uh, and the wiring harness is a it's got a uh, massive wiring harness here. Good wires, fuses, connectors. Got everything you need. While I'm here, I might as well give y'all a little. I've been. Uh, trying to get my shop fixed up to make videos uh, I might as well just give y'all a, a little tour of the shop uh, let me uh, change this around and uh, hold on I'll bring you back in a minute okay we're back uh, this is a uh, this is a Harbor Freight uh, cutoff saw that I have it's this I gotta make a stand to get it up a little higher. It uh, sort of hurts my back to bend over like that. And this is a work table. It's cluttered up right now, but this uh, does this uh, does a good job of for what I need it for. This is uh, all the wiring I run in the last couple of weeks, uh, and this is a. Uh, my Grizzly 4003G lathe. It uh, just got it set up, got it leveled. I just got it leveled last night. And uh, over there is uh, where the mill is going. This shop's, I think, 20, 25 by 30. And uh, as you can see down at the bottom, I had a I had a leak and I didn't know about until I got, uh, got all that stuff cleaned out of that corner. I got, that's what I've been doing today. I've been, been up there fixing that leak. Uh, and uh, that's where I'm going to move the mills. And uh, that's the metal rack over there. And uh, this is junk. This this area right here I'm in right now, uh, all you could do was open the door before I uh, started cleaning. It uh, it uh, couldn't even get around in it. But that's the, that's the lathe. Uh, that's the uh, hydraulic press over there, cherry picker. Got a little uh, sander down there. 
which I haven't got a place for it yet. Uh, the uh, the Harbor Freight uh, bench grinder there. When I got it, you couldn't you uh, you started up and it walked from one end of the shop to the other. I found out that these little washers right here are not. Uh, uh, they won't uh, mount on the shaft because I got a radius on them. They turn sideways and everything. And I got some uh, 32,000 spring steel and punched a 5 8 hole in them and put it behind the washers on each one of them. And that thing runs as smooth as silk now. And that's the uh, little uh, sander. It's a Harbor Freight job too. And all I had before I got my Grizzly back in November... It's uh, this little mini lathe and the table. <laughs> I've been sorting out all my tools. The table is uh, sort of cluttered up right now, but that little thing has made a lot of little little jobs, little tools for me. Uh, several little things uh, I made. Uh, I made this uh, uh, the pins and all the round stuff for this uh, knurling tool out off of it. Uh, I made, uh, these little locks on the, I made four or five of these tool holders here that, uh, and these, this right here, it works good. I, I like these. I'm going to make me a bigger one for the, uh, for the, uh, Grizzly. And, uh, this over here, this is the only area I could get to before. Uh, this is all my toolboxes from work. Uh, when I uh, when I was working before I got hurt and had to retire, I had a car accident and broke my back. And this is the uh, I'm in the process of moving it. I'm on, I've got a stand over there that I ordered for it, uh, and I'm gonna modify the stand and put it on that stand because stand still ain't tall enough. But uh, that's a little mini lathe that. I mean the mini lathe, the mini mill that uh, I got from it's a Bolton Tools mini mill. I've uh, 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 hooked up a uh, DRO on it after I got it, and I made the uh, there's the uh, controller and everything for uh, this power feed that I made for it. Uh, and this is the uh, little drill press I had. Before I bought the bigger one, and uh, that's my drill, Doctor Sharpens Drill. That thing does a fantastic job sharpening drill bits. And uh, <clears throat> as you can see, this is still cluttered back in here. You can't even get back in there. That's twenty twenty five years of living in one place and piling stuff up. Um, let me go back to the other side, and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, this is the. Uh, drill press that I use most of the time now it's uh for the bigger stuff the little stuff I still go over there because I like that little dr drill press I've had it for probably it's a harbor freight and the only thing I've done to it I had to put a uh, uh capacitor on it and I've had it ever since uh 96 I think it is when I first moved here but uh that's the shop. That's a, that's my little welder there. It's a Hobart 140. Uh, and that it does a fine job. But uh, I've, uh, this thing wasn't as easy to put together as I thought it was going to be. Uh, it was a, it was a, I had to wrestle with it. Plus I, uh, I uh, hooked up a DR, DRO on it too. And, uh, I like that real well, and I made these little holder, this little holder here for all the, all the tool holders. It just slides in on the uh, dovetails, and uh, that's basically the shop. Uh, I still, like I said, I still got to. I'm gonna move the drill press uh, over here where the ladder is, and uh, probably put the mill in the corner or right, right, vice versa. And I still got. Uh, over here, I still got tons of cleaning to do and uh, stuff 
Dodo throwing away and selling on the marketplace on the and uh, thinking about getting some of the other stuff that I'm getting rid of to uh, place it on eBay, but I hadn't made up my mind yet about that. But uh, that's a, that's the a shop. That's a Harbor Freight uh, shop fan there. And uh, this is my first video, so if I'm uh, <laughs> if it's bad, it's just bad. I, I'll get uh, I'll probably get better as I go along, but. Uh, Thank y'all for watching, and if you would, you can subscribe, but uh, it's going to be a, still a little while before I get any videos out on uh, machining, but uh, the ones that does stop by and see this video, thank you, and uh, uh, maybe you subscribe, maybe you tell your friends about it, uh, so uh, I'll say goodbye for now, and uh, y'all have a, a nice day.